are waiting right now for Metro to begin a press conference here. We're keeping our eye on it. We have a live picture up. Now, there has been a shooting at the Fremont Street Experience. Police have the area taped off. It's right around the Four Queens Resort and Casino. Let's get out to Metro Live and hear what they have to say about where yeah, this yeah, issue stands I'll right now. Wait, I was just waiting for everybody to look. So about 2.20, a little after 2.20 in the morning, uh, there was a report of uh, a gunshot fired on Fremont Street Experience in front of the Four Queens. Officers arrived and uh, found a, a black male in his 20s with a gunshot wound. He's transported to UMC, and about 30 minutes later, he's pronounced deceased at UMC from gunshot wound. So we're in the process of uh, speaking to a couple witnesses and reviewing video. Uh, apparently, there's a group of up to six people. They seem to know each other. There's an argument that escalates, and the suspect pulls out a gun. There's one gunshot fired, um, and then people are running in different directions. Uh, we have a name of a possible person involved. Like I said, it seems like some of the people involved, they, they know each other. We were given a name. I'm not prepared to call him a suspect yet because we haven't completed our interviews. Uh, so it's, it seems like it's an isolated incident. Uh, people have been uh, drinking, they're intoxicated, an argument escalates. And then one of the people within this group of about six people pulls a gun and fires one shot. Uh, I don't know how they're related, but we were given a name from one of the people in the group of a possible suspect. So we're working on that right now. We're trying to confirm that identity, who that person is. And, and the, the video is going to take a while. We have a very good working relationship with the hotels and the Fremont Street, Street Experience. Uh, so we're gathering uh, with them right now to review the video and try to put this together. As you see, there's a, we have a video of a suspect running in this direction. Uh, we recovered a piece of clothing. And so we're looking for other evidence going, uh, going uh, south. And then uh, looks like he went east on Bridger. So we're gonna, hopefully we're going we're gonna to find some evidence or backtrack his where he went that, in, in that direction. Uh, looking for other evidence connected to so you do the shooter and the victim knew each other? Don't know how. Somebody in that group, within the group, uh, gave us a name of the suspect, so I don't know how they knew each other, but obviously there, if they knew his name, somebody, I don't know if, if everybody knew each other, but there are several people in the group that claim to be uh, cousins or somehow related or they know each other. So. Lieutenant, talk a little bit about the atmosphere at 2 o'clock in the morning right here. I mean, was there a lot of other people around, or was it not that I group. not that I see in the video. That's why it's uh, uh, what I what, what I've uh, been told is on the video. Is All right, so we are listening into Metro Police hold a press conference right now about this shooting at the Fremont Street Experience happened right outside the Four Queens. And as you heard them talking uh, just now, they said it was a group of six people. There was some type of argument. Somebody pulled out a gun, uh, shot the victim, and the victim did go to the hospital and has died. Now, Parker Collins is on the scene, and of course, he is going to be listening in for the rest of this press conference, and he will bring us a full report coming up shortly. But some national news now.